Mike Schmaltz here for GoXavier.com with head men's soccer coach John Higgins. You get your second straight victory here in a row. You open up Big East play with a 1-0 victory over St. John's. You back it up tonight with a victory over the Evansville Purple Aces, your second-to-last non-conference test of the season. What were your impressions of the performance tonight? Yeah, happy to get the result. I thought for, I thought we started the game pretty slow, and then for probably like 35 minutes of the first half, I thought we played with real tempo, real control. I thought we moved it well, created chances. I thought we really deserved our deserved our lead there. And then we started the second half, and I thought if we got one early, Evansville Evansville would have dropped off. And and credit Evansville, we scored. We dropped it a little bit. They really picked it up, and and honestly, credit to Robbie and and his group there. They were on short rest, coming on the road again to us, and and I think they finished the game the better side with with more energy, and I think that's credit to him and and his staff and how and how they've played. They're a good side, and and they'll, they'll get wins this season. Two goals to 941 right before the half, one right after the half. The first one was a nice connection. Cannon stretching sends one in for Nathan Trickett, who just puts it away. It was a nice connection through traffic. It was, yeah. We thought we could have got success in those wide areas there. Cannon's come on. He's fantastic going forward. We know that. And delighted for him to get the assist. And, and Trickett's come off the bench again. He's given us great energy. And again, it's just a nice little reward for those guys who have been working really hard. They deserve to get their opportunities and have taken it. Second one, Michael Rigalski goes end to end, fires one in the upper 90, far post from outside the 18. What a rocket. He's been fantastic for us. He really has. He's, he's a great outlet for us. He's one of our most dangerous threats from the fullback position. He's a nightmare to play against because he can go inside and out. He's come inside there and, and finished very similar to Forcellini's against St. John's. We'll, we'll take more of them. And Johnny Mantle not tested a whole lot tonight, but a couple of dangerous chances in front. He comes away with a second shutout. Yeah, he had a massive save with about 20 to go. I think if Evansville had got a goal at that point, would have been a really scary end into the game. He's come up big, and he's deserved his clean sheet. Going to have to pick up the momentum here. He's going on the road for three, I believe, two will be in conference, and then one at Cleveland State. So what do you expect out of the road trip? Yeah, it's tough. We've not been great so far this season on the road. So we want to we want to get on the road. We want to get those habits right. We want to make sure we get a good performance against against the Paul. And then you're right, we're back to back again. I've always felt like in seasons past we've been very good on the road. Uh, we want to get back to that. Musketeers will have a test on the road, but they pick up tonight defending home turf with a victory over the Evansville Purple Aces 2-0.